That's a, I, I don't know if that's the most free throws taken against my team, but it might be. But let me just tell you, they put their head down and they go. And that's what they do. And we were trying to do the same without the same result. But we were trying to do the same. Um, but the, the difference was the offensive rebound, and then that's, that came down to toughness. And, you know, uh, Wiley just had a field day on Nick, and not many people have done that to Nick, but he did. Um, there were probably seven, six or seven offensive rebounds. You ready? We didn't leave our feet. Like, we didn't jump. Like, I'm like, what is going on? We didn't play good, but give them credit because they did what they had to. The end of the half really, really hurt us. Really hurt us. Like, we, we got the game in hand, and we just come down against the press and just, what, what in the world? We don't play that way, if you've all watched this. That's, we don't even have that in our repertoire, throwing, throwing, throwing. Thro we don't. And I'm like, where did you come up? What? And so, but here's what I said after. We all had a bad day, me included. We all had a bad day. Um, because there's not one guy in our room that I would say played well. But give Auburn the credit. They were more physical. Um, they created more fouls than us, obviously. Um, and, and the crazy thing is we had our chance, 62-60 with the ball. We're, we're okay. Let's go. And uh, we can't we, – we don't do what we need to. It is what it is. They got to come. I've done it. I played five guys when I was at UMass. I played five. You know what those guys figured out? They better come every game. Can't afford not to. Bastion again struggled. With struggled. Why? Struggled. I don't know. I have to ask him. He struggled. How much of a handicap is that for you? Struggled. It's hard because Tyrese is not ready to run a team yet. Possessions matter. They really do. And when you're not in that mindset, you're just playing and exchanging baskets. It's, it's, you have a lead and all of a sudden you're on the road and you're controlling the game. And you just give them that and what's the problem? I mean, no, what? But he's learning. And we need, we need guys to play well. I mean, we, we, we got a game coming up now. Mississippi State, they're beating everybody by 20. And you know what they are? <laughs> They're big and physical. So, I mean, if they push us around like we got pushed around today, it's going to be a hard one for us. They got another guy that is maybe bigger than that. Obviously, with Nick, probably how much, how do you, and he's been so good about keeping that confidence level up after a yeah, it's, he's, There's nothing that? that I can do. It's him. Now, what? Why did you, why did you not jump for balls? Why did you not hit first? Why did you get out work to everything? Tell us why. And whatever your answer is, fix it. Because that's what happened. He wanted it worse than you wanted it. What, why? What was your mindset? Were you thinking wrong? Were you, do you have an arrogance to you? I don't know. Whatever it is, you got to change it. Ashton, why did you play that way? If you want to say it was their team and I got outworked, okay. That could be the answer. But this was a good win for Auburn. Um, they had been struggling um, and had some teams, had them where we had them. But they never let them off the hook. And we just have guys that don't know how to put. We, we get 10 point leads, the guys that have followed us. We've had 10 point leads multiple times this year where we just gave it up like, and, and did it quickly. Within a minute, all of a sudden, it's a two point game. So we got stuff to learn. Now, what kind of a team is, what's going on when they give up two point leads as easily as they do? I don't know because we got three point guards on the floor, and I don't understand when you have three point guards, how do you make bad decisions? And some of it's both ends. But give Auburn credit. Good win. Thanks, folks. Uh.